This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. What's up YouTube, Raheem the Rabbit here, back at it again with another quick reaction video, and welcome to the rabbit hole. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I ask you to please smash that like button, also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. Today we got a dope reaction video, another Kendra G video with the ratchet of the ratchetest <laughs> the ratchetest of the ratchetest so we'll be reacting to this video let me just blow this guy up here alrighty we will be reacting to this video in three two one and not to say fair use fair use oh hi <laughs> hi what's your name honey it's India India where you calling me from Houston Texas Houston's in the building. How old are you? 36. 36. You have any kids? Yeah, I have seven. No shit, man. Don't bullshit me. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. 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 You said I'm sorry. It's all bullshit. You have seven children? Mm-hmm. How old are your kids? My oldest is 18, 13. Uh, my oldest son turns 10 next month. And then I have an eight-year-old. A seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and an eight-month-old. <laughs> Let me just say one thing really quick. Have you ever noticed uh, in the dating market that the women who have multiple kids by multiple baby daddies are not very fit? I'm not going against the women who are the exceptions who have that... Uh, that snapback. Oh shit! <laughs> right, I'm not talking about the women who have the snapback. You know what I mean? Shout out, shout out to you, ladies who got the snapback. I don't care how many kids you got, but as soon as you dropped them bad boys off, you snapped right back. All in favor, raise your hand. So kudos, kudos to you. But one thing I've noticed in the dating market as of late, all of the women. It's not no shade. I'm not. I'm not shading. I'm just observing something that a lot of women who are at a deficit physically in the data market and have a whole bunch of kids it seems like they attract the men that are at the bottom of the dating market all in favor raise your hand very interesting it's it's a very interesting observation that most of the men who impregnate these women they are not suitable fathers or suitable candidates to be vetting uh, women, and they're definitely not husband-like material. Hey, Michael, are about the same man? No. Emotional damage. How many men? Six. Six men. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. So why are you not with the man you had a baby with eight months ago? Uh, so when him and I started talking, it didn't work out. He was too Christian. What? Bitch, you think it's small. 
We need to be thinking big. You need to be thinking big, bitch. You need to be thinking big, oh, bitch. Shit. <laughs> so why's your baby mind? I found out I was pregnant after we had stopped talking. Smell like a pile of bullshit. How long Years did y'all talk for? We were talking for like six months. And then I ended up getting pregnant. Yeah. What about, why are you not with the five-year-old dad? Uh, he has a drug addiction that I found out about. And that's a turn off. Why are you not with the seven-year-old dad? Same thing. Execute order 66. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! She belongs to the streets. Why are you not with the eight-year-old dad? Uh, he left me for his baby mama. Why are you not with the ten-year-old dad? Didn't work out. So with my boys, and I'm not ashamed of it. Um, actually, what made me decide to get on your show um, was the young lady that got on there earlier through the week. The one, yeah, that um, Quella, Quella Ann. Yeah. Well, Leanne has um, seven kids and she's currently pregnant. So she'll have eight kids. So Nasty bitch. So I was like, at first I was like, I ain't gonna ever get on this woman's show because they not about to, they not about to talk about me, but they You stupid. What about it? Like at the end of the day, it's my life. And if you don't know my story, you can't judge me. Goodbye. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep, and let me just minimize that and let me bring myself back up here. Uh, real short reaction video, but in, in all seriousness, I, I want to ask a question to particularly my, my sisters and any other you know ethnic group of women if it does apply. Um, like I said before, Women are the gatekeepers of who gets sexual access and who gets born. And men are the gatekeepers of who gets the relationship and who gets married. So my question is, when did you find out that the man that you chose to procreate with was uh, not, suitable, not a suitable father? When did you find this out? Month one? or midway through the pregnancy like when when did you find out and then on top of that is you procreated with six more men you are adding to the statistic of bringing children into the world into a single parent home and then on top of that you're not married you're you're contributing to uh single children boys or girls growing up without their father and without their mother under the same roof. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Pages. So like I said, I'm going to continue to hammer this point home. And again, rest in peace to the godfather, uh, Kevin Samuels. He was an advocate for this. Marry before you carry. Ladies, please. Ladies. What? I'm going to say it once. What? I'm going to say it twice. What? I'm going to say it three times. What? Marry before you carry. Message! Please, marry before you carry. Make a conscious decision and start vetting these men a little bit better before you decide to let a man uh, shoot the club up and and you become a mother unexpectedly. Oh shit! <laughs> All right. And with that being said, that's the end of this reaction video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on the way out. Also hit the like button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. And I will definitely see you guys on the next episode of The Rabbit Hole. Peace. And uh, shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you. This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area.
This message will self-destruct in 10 seconds. I am an independent woman. You're an idiot. You stupid. People don't like how you be yourself. Fuck. Fuck it up this wall. We're hands up on. We're crazy doing this. Oh, shit. She belongs to the streets. You can't handle the truth.